is this period really more dangerous than the 90s or do we just have the negative information thrown at us more heavily now i think it's more dangerous there's way more mental health issues right now uh in the 90s 80s and 90s we had the psychopaths we had the serial killers we had we had some dangerous stuff happen but it, it was different right now it's dark there's a lot of pressures in society and because it's been gentrified and there's a lot of um, immigration happening people are having a hard time making judgment care decisions character decisions on people right they're not a good judge of character because they maybe not encountered people encounter encountered people from this type of people or people from this region and stuff like this there's a saying that says um in general you know what's good looking and what's ugly based on where you were brought up so if an alien came down the extreme case if an alien came down to earth you wouldn't know if that alien is considered to be pretty or ugly in the alien culture right so once you have this replacement mingling my mass migration all this stuff happening it becomes difficult to make judgment decisions uh, i think it's way more dangerous now way more dangerous now we got 1994 will stay with me for the rest of my life nice the king pretty confident that society was just more ignorant than blissful in the 90s maybe but i don't know cheryl the 90s were great in east coast usa too granted uh still uptight still uptight prowler ranger how are you doing missed the good times i had with the twists the king i think that's a fair assessment people are definitely less happy now but i don't know if they are in more bodily danger based on crime rates in most areas at least in the u.s it's, it's not just a crime rate it's it's um it it it, it's the way you have to behave in certain situations right so you have to be really on guard now in a big way uh in certain functions and events and stuff uh, as compared to in the past uh it, it there there's definitely a different vibe to it there's definitely a different vibe to it gang we're coming up to two hours let's call the stream i'm glad we didn't uh stay on the politics too much we just chit chatted and talked about life and stuff it's good it's good uh this weekend coming up we'll probably have a couple of live streams at least one anyway maybe we'll hit up the map uh we'll see we'll see what happens in the next few days uh, a lot of stuff going on the king again i believe that people are more afraid which affects the vibe but i don't think they're at more risk depends where you are depends where you are I think it depends where you are dolly dunes 11 first time chat oh my god i caught you on live nights i used to watch your math and geol geology videos on youtube to relax in between studying you have such a great voice thank you thank you reminds me a bit of alan watts i love alan watts his voice i like his voice i like alan watts voice very calming and uh he, he puts you in a relaxed state that way you can absorb the information better uh, so i like alan was thank you for the compliment and glad you found us salute 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 <laughs> salute 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 ah just got the end still cool cheers man cheers cheers dolly cheers dolly and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange Julian Assange, a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. And if you want to know who we are, this is who we are. You can definitely follow the work there. For those of you that are supporting this work, thank you very much for the support, gang. I hope. I hope you're enjoying the content and we'll continue to do what it is that we are doing. And as always, salute, salute to the mods. Cheers, gang.
and returned Tucker Carlson to the airways, the king. People were definitely less burdened by social media, but I'm sure many people were suffering back then and using things like drugs and alcohol to deal with it rather than vocalizing it, which is more possible now. Yeah, and keep this in um, mind as well, the king. In the 90s, you didn't have every Joe Blow walking around with a fucking camera where they're taking pictures of you and posting it and fucking you up possibly right so in the 90s it was a lot more carefree where you could express yourself without having repercussions come back and bite you in the ass for the last 15 years like there's no way i would have been i would want to do what i was doing back in the 80s and 90s while doing it in the last 10 years with everybody with a damn camera taking a picture of you being stupid and posting it on their social media platform and tagging you with it right so there's a lot there's a lot at play there's a lot at play bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic next few days